cold. Cold takes my hands away as I place them under icy waters and wait for them to return. I keep looking for them, my hands, that worked all these years for me. Only the mind remains my own, cold of my lonely life. Good day to beautiful ladies around the world. I'm Prabhasha Kureta from Sri Lanka. I'm a simple and happy woman, currently working as a foundation stage teacher in UAE. Well, how I train myself in reading, how I start my reading journey. It's quite an amazing kind of sad story. Well, not exactly sad, but I didn't have a luxury life for reading. Well, it started like this. My father was an agriculturist and he was far away from the city. So I didn't have a chance to go to a fancy and, uh, and a facilitated school in the city. So I always had the chance to go to a school which is in the village. But I really loved my journey. I always spent my time with the sugar canes. Yet, we trained ourselves to read at home. How? Through my parents. They helped us a lot to read, find books, not only books. Well, let me start from the beginning of the journey. How my mama trained myself to read. It comes like this way. She always showed us the things around the house which has the labors. So the reading began with that section. And then later on when we grow up, my father used to bring us few books. So we started reading few story books. Later, we continue our reading sessions with the newspapers. And sometimes we get our chance to spend time with my father while comprehending the passages what we read early in the morning. So that was my journey. How about yours? So do you like to read? Why we should read? That's the main question. Why? Why we should read books? A little example. Look at these two glasses over here. One I filled with water and the other one is empty. Which glass you prefer? Well, for me, obviously I will take the glass filled with water. Why? Because it will be benefit to myself. Same way, look at our mind. The more you read, the more you gather information, more you gather knowledge. It's not about that you go to a big school or you can go to a school. It's about your taking effort to gather knowledge. How we can simply gather knowledge? How we can understand about the world, about the cultures, about the information? How we can fill ourselves with the knowledge which can benefit to our lives, to our children? The basic thing is reading, parents. The basic thing is reading, my dear friends. So, you should start reading. You should need just a little punch to yourself to take a book to your hand and start reading. Well, you may be not in a position or in a situation to find your favorite book or maybe you can't find books, but simply you can start reading from your surrounding, from your base, from your home. Little example, you can start reading with your child. If you go to your kitchen, you can find the food item with the labels you can start blending so we are going back to the reading lesson the basic of reading i must say so before you read a book you should understand what is the language of the book i prefer the english language because we are going on with that language now well if you are taking a book which is written in english you should know all about the phonic sounds then from the phonic sounds you can start blending that means you're putting the letter sounds together and framing the word if you can identify the words then you can simply start reading the sentences then later on you will understand the grammar you can study it by yourself 
When you read more, you gather information. Along with that, you gather the grammatical part of the language. But if you stop reading, you will find nothing. So dear friends, start reading. Fill your brain, fill your whole self with the information, with the knowledge. It's not about you can go to a school and you can attend the high level exams. It's all about how you get the information to your life. Well, I'm going to conclude my small description or the speech about reading or as giving courage to yourself to read. So, as a woman, start reading. Light your life. Bright your life. Same way you light the candle when you are in dark. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, ladies. I'm Prabhasha Kurwita.